Hello, hello everyone. My name is Moidin Baba today, and today I have a dead Android phone. If you plug charger, it shows charging, even though it doesn't show charging sign on the screen of the phone. But at least checking it on the uh, power supply, you can see the phone is charging, but with low current. I can call this uh, normal charging, but at least something is going on. The phone is consuming something. But you know, in some cases, if you have a phone with low battery, uh, you will see the phone consuming very low arms because uh, when battery low, phone will charge with low arms till the battery reach the normal voltage. Then the phone will jump to the normal current. So now let me, for now let me assume the battery is low. But I've tried this. I've kept it charging for hours, but still nothing changed. So I'll just open the phone and see what is going on inside of the phone. So now let me open the phone and see what is going on. And this phone is Nokia, I think Nokia 1.4, something like that, or Nokia 5. So I'll just open the phone now. And first I'll check the battery footage and see if the footage is enough to power the phone or the footage is low or anything going on. I'll just, okay look like look like i'm not the first person to open this phone but no problem uh, okay. okay now before i even do anything i would like to measure the battery temperature okay here is my multimeter ooh, 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 ooh. nothing there is nothing now let me measure the footage directly from the battery terminal itself, not from the phone. So just, uh, just mm -hmm. three point eight, three point eight is enough to power up a phone. So okay, the battery is good. Now, ah oh, yeah, without connecting the battery, I just want to plug the bar. I mean the charger. Wow. I don't think something is right. I, you see, without battery, the phone is consuming 0 0.661 amps, which is very, very high. I'm expecting something uh, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06. Those are the normal amps without a uh, battery connector. So now, like, this is a lot of amps. Where, where those amps are going? Probably something short on the motherboard. So, but before I conclude, so I will check some things. First, I'll check the battery terminal with diode mode and see if there's anything wrong there. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this is the battery terminal. So, this is the positive, and this positive is directly connected to this diode. So, I'll just uh, place my. Uh, positive probe here then connect the negative and see okay so focus on my multimeter so I've placed the positive somewhere and you see you can see and can you even hear the beep this is not normal 0 0.26 is not normal something is wrong there's shot somewhere on the motherboard okay let me remove the charger let me remove the charger and zero 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 so something is wrong now i'll remove the motherboard then try to look for the shots and for those that don't know what is short short is when a component on the motherboard uh how do i call it when a component on the motherboard get damaged maybe by high current or something and when those components damage they become i mean they started behaving like a straight wire and you know straight wire there's nothing between from point a to point b just like straight so that is how they behave and what that means is they bridge negative and positive together which is not supposed to be like that so bridging it will causing something to eat up and that's it so any 
short components most of the time not every short component will eat up but most most of the time they eat up and now i'll just try to inject footage then see whatever that uh, eat up then i will believe that my shot okay there are a lot of ways to inject footage but using the battery terminal is is kind of easy you know let me show you on the microscope what i'm what i wanted to do uh -huh. where is it okay you see this is positive terminal and it's coming straight here nothing has just direct connection so then to this place too so i will so i will show the wire to this place then connect uh, my power supply positive uh, terminal of my power supply then all these plates all these plates you know all these plates they were connected to ground and ground is connected to negative so i'll just connect the negative probe or negative terminal of my power supply to this place or any en any ground then i'll inject the footage and see whatever that eat up okay wow my sodium I, I did not turn on my sodium i just turn it on so i have to wait for it to eat up you know sometimes you don't need to sew any wire you can use something like this you know i remove this thing from bad battery so this thing is still good you can just connect the battery i mean the power supply then plug this thing directly on the uh battery terminal on, on the motherboard but this one is not for this phone so i can't use this one with this phone and then is it it's not the same so i cannot use it but i'll just sew the wire then that will solve my problem so so the iron is ready now uh, 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 uh. And if you are watching this channel for the first time or you have not subscribed to this to this channel make sure you subscribe because i will be dropping a very very educative uh video so don't miss out many video that people will be asking for money so i'll be dropping it here free okay so now and uh so you can see the power supply you can see what the what the phone is consuming high footage high current so the phone is they call it full shot right now something is already eating up so let me let me just see what is eating up so first i'll just try to fill it around and see the area that is getting hot then because all those components are very tiny so in some cases even though you face some area is getting hot you may not be able to identify the exact component that is getting hot but there's a solution for that uh and right now i still can't feel a specific area that is getting hot but like kind of some area are kind of warm but i still can uh okay let me increase the arms these two arms three arms oh yeah no even though with this nothing is getting nothing nothing <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Oh, I can feel some I can feel some area. Okay. Yeah. This area, this area is getting odd but because all those components are very tiny, it is not easy to identify the specific one but using something like this this thing is called rosin so if you feel an area is getting us just 
apply something like this and when the thing gets hot the specific components will be the one that first met okay let me show you on the microscope how it work okay so this is the area that i i, I apply the uh, rosin so now let me turn on my power supply and see what what first uh what i mean which one that first made the rosin okay let me let me start it low okay can you see can you see the capacitor you can see is the first one so this is a problem probably this is the only thing that is causing the phone to stay dead so you can see it's the first component that made the rosin you can see uh -huh. so that's it that's the problem so i will remove the uh the capacitor now and save the phone turn on. Oh. okay No, I can use sodium ion too. Have okay, and the capacitor is out. It's out. Can you see that? <laughs> you cannot see it, but. Okay, now let me test the phone and see what is going on. Probably we have a working phone now. Ja. So I'll clean the phone and just test it and see if the phone is working. But I believe we have a working phone now. Ja. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Okay. I'm just drying up the liquid. Okay. okay, then allow it to cool down for some minutes, maybe five minutes or something like that. Para 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 para. Uh. Let me use my cooling machine to cool it down faster. Um. So. Oh, we can see now. Mm -hmm. So. No more, no more beep. No more beep. Uh, no more beep. This is and this is ground, and this is positive. So no more ground. No more shots. And finally, let's test the phone. And if you notice, I did not replace the bad components. It's because some components can be re removed without replacing, and some need to be replaced. So, and in some cases, this one is a capacitor. You know, most of the time, capacitor you can re you can remove capacitor without replacing because there's always more than one. So if one goes down, there will be another one serving the same pu purpose. Even more than one. In Sometimes three, sometimes four. First, let me try charger first. Uh. 
So, wow, the phone is working. Fine. And that is. So, it, can you believe this tiny thing is preventing the phone to power up? You cannot even see because it's very, very tiny. So, the phone has been fixed and ready to. Ready, to, ready for pickup. And that is. So, the phone is working fine now. Very fine. I don't see the phone is working fine. Yeah. Hopefully my customer will be happy. And thank you, thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe, subscribe so that you don't miss out uh, a great over because I will be releasing a video about uh, software engineering, mobile phone software engineering, mobile phone software repairing, free, complete from A to Z. All you need to know to become an expert in software mobile phone uh repairing so if you like this video consider click the like button then subscribe so that anytime i drop a new video you get notified so thank you okay bye bye